Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Madisonville Marine. We're still a few weeks away from the downtown Knoxville boat show, but boat show deals are already available at Madisonville Marine on all kinds of boats. Let me tell you, they got deals galore. Too many to list right now. Get down there this week. Ask Joe Special and his team about them. Pick out your boat, buy it, and Madisonville Marine will store it for you until spring. It's perfect. There's no place, to, no better place to buy a boat than Madisonville Marine. Check them out at madmarine.com to learn more. All right, let's take a look here. Let's talk about the Nico Hype. Two different betting services already have him as the number six best odds in the nation for the Heisman and the number five <laughs> best odds in the nation. Will Overstreet shaking his head. Maybe you, you want to tap the brakes on this a little yeah, bit? Yeah, tap the brakes, Bob, please. Bob, you want to throw more coal on from your line of work? Yeah, <laughs> or are you gonna, tapping the brakes? I'm, I'm, I'm brake tapping. All right, let's come on back. A little quick, a little quick. <laughs> it, it is pretty high up on that. Let's talk supporting uh, cast. Offensive line did not look good the other day. You had several guys out. But at the same time, you thought you were going to have Mincy back next year. Now he's decided he's going to transfer the, for, for the 15th time. Uh, your receiving core looked like the same exact receiving core that didn't help Joe Milton much this year. Um, they, don't, they look like they need to get more around him. You haven't been tearing it up in terms of the NIL portal stuff. I'm wondering, is now the time when you should be throwing as much money as you have at as many people as you have while you've got a special quarterback, yeah. are you loading mm -hmm. up right now in your NIL and saying, hey, if, somebody, if the young kids want to transfer, so be it, we got to win with Nico? Or are you saying, no, we build a program the way we always build it? Where are you? Get this guy help right now with the money or? Well, get him help. <laughs> uh, so spend. Get him help, yes. Spend yeah, the money. Uh, I mean, if I've got a reliable offensive line that I've seen go up against SEC-type level opponents and be a decent pass blocker, I'm going to go pay some money to go get that guy. I, I just, I've got to get an offensive line improvement. To me, that's a bigger concern. I mean, still a concern on the, the other parts, but I'm going to get the guy to protect the guy and get some more bodies in here. I think the other thing is, I got to get somebody that has one of two things can either blaze a trail and take the top off, or can catch a three yard route and make four guys yeah. miss and take it the distance. We don't have either one of those on this team that I've seen. Those are the three things I think you need for this team to reach potential. Brew McCoy's coming back, but he's not that type mm -hmm. receiver. Dante Thornton mm -hmm. or Squirrel White, maybe one of those guys who was a disappointment this year, can improve the way Jalen Hyatt did. You are bringing in the kid from Tulane at receiver, and apparently his brother is coming with him. But I don't know that that – Evan Stewart from Texas A&M is still floating out there. He just went to visit Oregon. Tennessee had either two or three linemen in this weekend that they're visiting trying to get him in the portal. Will West, your take on where things stand with – this team and are you spending all your resources that you've got right now to put weapons around Nico? I, I agree with what Will said at first. I think it's about offensive line because we've seen the Colts go get wide receivers for Andrew Luck, not protect him. It was kind what of worthless. So yeah, it didn't do it. Didn't do any good. So I think that's the biggest thing is protect the investment that you have with uh, Nico first. Protect him. Get offensive linemen. I also think you're good enough at the skill position players. Those running backs are good enough. The wide receivers are good enough eh, for you to win a eh, lot of games. Eh. But do you have depth? <laughs> That's my one question about do you have depth on the offensive line? Do you have good enough offensive linemen? Because you can have okay running backs and win a Super Bowl if you have a great offensive line in front of you. Will was very good in the first thing he said, <laughs> and, and, it, and then it started tailing off a little bit. I don't think you are good enough. I think you're good enough at running back, probably. You know, you need to see more of the the, the, the third kid, kid. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I think with Samson, you've got a top level potential. But I just think your receivers are just average, 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 average. And I do think you need to go out now. Maybe. Maybe you've got somebody in this recruiting class. You know, maybe the kid from Tulane. Who knows? Although, has, has Heupel shown that he likes to play freshman? No. Yeah, no. well, I, I mean, but, but with Nico, I think you're exactly right, Will. You've got to protect him. You've got to make your offensive line better. But I think the weapons that you have receiver-wise, I just think you're, they're average. I mean, I think you can go to a lot of schools in the SEC, and they've got that exact same kind of group of receivers. Can you, you go to? But I look at Michigan's, Bama's. Like I look at the teams in the Texas. I don't know that Tennessee's receivers are a whole lot worse than what those teams have right now with Burton and Bond at Bama, the receivers at Michigan. So I think if you can win the battle in the trenches and you have a good quarterback, you can win a lot of games with the receivers they currently have. Marlon, what's your take? Here's what I would say to like that one. Like I think Burton 
is a special kind of player receiver-wise. He can take over a game. I've seen yeah. him this season say, you know what, give me the ball. I'm going to take over the game. I don't think we have one of those, but I think what needs to happen is I think hype will needs to go to like Dante Thornton and say, hey, look, man, you have a potential. Your speed, you got size. We've had some ups and downs, which like this year is the year for you to have a breakout year. We've got a quarterback for you that's going to get you the freaking ball. I think that's a conversation and that's some time and investment that I'm spending this offseason trying to get Thornton to turn into that, that high, that high at tight. Hey, man, you could have a special season here at Tennessee and take us to where we need to be. Whatever Jalen Hyatt did between yeah. his second year and his third year, yeah. that's what Dante Thornton needs. Exactly. Because Hyatt was not high on anyone's no. list because he had the drop. Dropping and, balls. And, 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 in, terms yeah. of, in terms of this receiving core, I kind of agree with Bob that, you know, if, if you put Jalen Hyatt on the market, Alabama would have wanted him. Georgia would have wanted him. You put Squirrel White on the market. No. I, I think guys are looking at it and saying, yeah, I got one of those. No offense to Squirrel White if you don't like hearing it. Have a good year next year. But, yeah. I mean, he was fine. He just wasn't the special, special player that everyone anticipated. Well, and, 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 you, you, and Hyatt is not an easy guy to replace. No. Still. No. But Cedric Tillman was on that team for a couple of years, yeah. and nobody was sitting around the year before going, man, I can't wait to see Cedric Tillman get out there. So maybe that guy is there, and mm -hmm. maybe that development happens. But I think if you just base it on what you have seen, you know, Brew McCoy, I think, is a fantastic receiver for what he does, but it isn't what Will's talking about, the guy that takes the top off, and now you've got two guys chasing him, so now we can throw it to Squirrel White, and maybe he does turn a 10-yard pass into a 25-yard pass. <clears throat> you, yeah, you, you just you got to have the right mix, and you're missing that one guy in that core group that is the guy that everybody focuses on and is worried about. Mm -hmm. You don't have that where they look at it on tape and go, I'm scared of that there guy. There you go. Yeah, nobody's scared. And you didn't see a lot last year. Two years ago, how many times did they see a matchup they liked and Jalen Hyatt went right on that guy? Yeah. Whereas this year you didn't see a lot of that. So Because they didn't have that guy that was the matchup win. All right. Uh, be sure to click the poll. Right now it's 48% of you still. Wow. 48% say need to see more. That is leading. Mm. Upping your expectations only 42%, buying playoff tickets 10%. This is a very serious audience we have today. <laughs> they they want to see more. They're not jumping on the hype train, even though we're whoop, whoop, bleeping it. All right. Uh, when we come back, I know somebody that is on the hype train, and they were on with uh, Josh and Swain this week. We'll play you that clip. Somebody who thinks of the Vols' expectation for 2024, college football playoff. Should that be the expectation? Come on back. <laughs> 